Hello and welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microdict Configuration Swiss. Today's topic is about configuring LTTP VPN for remote user. LTTP is a secure tunnel protocol for transporting IP traffic using PPP. LTTP incorporates PPP and MPPE, which is Microsoft point to point encryption to make encrypted links. LTTP is just as any other tunneling protocol with or without encryption. But the most secure way to encrypt data is using LTTP over IPsec. And I'm showing you the configuration of LTTP with IPsec pre-shared key. LTTP uses UDP Pro 1701 for link establishment. Then further traffic is used any available UDP port. It could be 1701 port or any other UTB available port. So today we will see how a remote user can connect to head office network using LTTP encrypted tunnel and avail an IP address from the same IP network of head office so that the remote user can work from anywhere. Now unlike PPTP, LTTP is more secure. So many network experts recommend to use LTTP VPN server to connect remote user. Okay, let's see the diagram to understand our lab scenario. This is our diagram. This is the head of face microdic router, which public IP address is 192.168.137.2. And local IP address is 192.168.1.0/24. This is our local IP block. And my remote user is connected to internet by some other vendor and it will be connected through LTTP VPN and then can enable the same IP network from the head of his local block. A remote user must connect to the internet from some other vendor and is able to reach office router's public IP address which is 192.168.137.2. Okay, now we go back to our lab. This is our GNS3 lab. Okay, first we have to enable L2TP server. So we have to log into this router. Already logged in here. Okay, this is the router of head office. Now, first we have to enable L2TP server. To do this, we have to go to the PPP from the left panel here. Click on the PPP. And here you can see some options. PPTP server, which I have already shown in my previous video you can see the LTTP server this button click on here so we will tick this box to enable this service for authentication this is default default profile is default encryption now here you can say use IPsec we will select yes and this IPsec secret here will give a password this is the pre-shared key so I will just keep the password 23456 we'll have to give this password along with individual users username and password when we configure VPN client from Windows PC we will see that later in the video color by this IP address one session per host take this box here I'll click apply and okay now we'll create user adding a user is done from secret tab so click on the secret tab click plus sign to add and the name will give the user name is test and the password is test123 in the service field we will select the l2tp and the profile is default encryption now in the local address local address is 192.168 and the remote address is the same block 192.168.24 it must be unique and this local address is same for all the LTTP users it is better to assign IP statically so that you know which user is using which IP. 
you can do another way is to create a pool and then call in the profile then use the profile in individual user this way user will get ip from a pool that you specify which is random okay i'm giving you a quick tips how to do it just click apply so the other way you can give ip addresses it pool first go to the ip and then pool assign to app now in, in the range here addresses here 192.168.1.241.192.268.1.254 this is my pool play in k now go to the ppp menu go to the profile you can edit your default settings or create a new profile click assign to app give a name as l2tp profile now in the local address 92681 and in the remote address you select the pool you can specify your dns address here if you want give the google dns address and apply and ok now go back to the secret tab click assign to add give another name techie password is service is l2tp and in profile you select the l2tp profile when you select the profile then you don't need to specify any local address or remote address the user will get the ip address from the profile now you just click apply and ok so you see the l2tp local ip is the ip address of router's local interface ip which is 192.168.1.1 and remote address is from the same region as local network 192.168.1.0/24 we have specified here 192.168.1.241 okay now i will test from a windows machine okay. just right click here on the start menu Go to the settings, network and internet. Now click on the VPN. Now create a VPN. In the VPN provider, I'll select the Windows built in connection name. I'll give as techie server name. We have to specify the IP address of our server address, which is this public address of the router. 168192. Now, in the VPN type, we specify you can see there is two options L2P IP stack with certificate and L2P IP stack with pre shared key. We have configured L2P IP stack with pre shared key. This is an extra feature we have added in L2P server IP stack pre shared key. So, to connect to VPN server, you must give the IPsec pre-shared key. This way extra layer of security is added when you configure LTP. Now we will give the individual user name and password. Just test. Click save. Now we will connect. You see we have connected. Now from the router we can check in the active connections this user got the IP address that we have specified statically so now if we connect another user we'll disconnect from here I will add another VPN Windows built-in connection names take two server is one and VPN type is LTP with the shared key password is one Five six with username and password is take key e one two three k now save connect okay I have connected from other user now we can check from our micro router on the active connections you see now the IP address I got for this user is 
uh, from the same range but it is random 192.161.254 which is from the profile pool that we have declared in the alter tv pool we have specified in the pool that 191681.2412 191681.254 so the user will get the ip address from the pool and it is random is random from the range that we have specified you can configure in both ways based on your need and now i will check if i can ping to this ip address from my remote pc ping from my remote machine now i'm getting ping response from that pc so i'm in the same network so this it is pretty easy to configure altitude vpn server this video helps so do subscribe this channel for more videos thanks for watching